Welcome to the Narrow Boat that James built. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, after yesterday's calamities, I need to continue uh, with the bathroom. So uh, you'll see here, I've had that sheet of PVC delivered, which I'm gonna put in this side of the, um, of the shower. I've been told uh, by a few people to put it in after the tiles. That's kind of the last thing to go in. Um, but I've also, uh, you won't believe, I've had to take that ceiling panel down, the one I put up yesterday, um, to trim the edge a little bit. I had to take two mil off the edge. So um, got to put that back in, but um, before you get comfortable, uh, I've worked out there's a technique, which is, well, it's a bit more straightforward. So that's good. Um, and really to the plan for today is just to crack on with the bathroom. So I've got to get the, um, the shower tray in, I've got to get the shower tray in and shower enclosure and stuff like that. So that's a plan. I've had a couple of bits in the post. It's always quite fun today. When the postman arrives, never know what to expect. So what's this one? Oh, oh that's really cool. Got a mug, keep, keep calm and drink tea. I really need a new mug. The state of my current mug well, it's, you've seen it, it's horrific. So uh, thank you, that's really kind, whoever that was. Cheers. A uh, special hello to Dave and Lynn, who came round earlier and gave me three of them, which, guys, I'm blimey. That's, um, that's like three gold bars, so cheers for that. Oh, here's another one. Let's see. Paintbrushes, excellent. Zero loss, useful. Oh, and more, cool. Oh, well, thank you very much, whoever that was. You guys at Stars, cheers. That will really come in handy. And they're decent ones, actually. Cool, I like the crap I buy. Right, time to carry on with that bathroom. Okay, so I need to now put in the shower tray. So it's one part water, and three and a half parts fire adhesive. And you've got to mix it kind of gradually, it says. And look, I've got a bucket this time. I'm not using a you know, my tea mug or something stupid like that. Obviously this is flexible tile adhesive because well it's on a boat so it needs to be withstanding vibrations and movement and stuff like that. Yeah, that looks like the right consistency. Right, so I'm now in a position to put down the tile adhesive and a couple of people commented on the last video to raise it up slightly on those two edges there so this hole at the bottom here is slightly lower so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to stick a couple of I think that will work and just little blobs of this kind of sporadically Things it's called dabbing. Well, I think I may have made up the right amount, which is of a relief. Now obviously I've kept the wrapping on this so that I can stand on it. I 
don't know if it's meant to kind of ooze out the edges or not. Don't know if I haven't put enough down. Uh, I'm gonna put more pressure on it. So once again, my trusty supports have come into play and it's managed to squidge out a little bit of the adhesive to the edges. So I'm pretty sure that's works nicely throughout the whole of the base. So I'm just letting that go off for a couple hours and then I'm going to put the side back up there and carry on with the enclosure install. So the seating panel's in, now I'm just going to put some screws in it so I can get these <coughs> supports out of the way. I'm only going to screw the centre batten and these two battens here. The two at the edges, I'm hoping that the side walls will push those bits up. I've marked it all out. And... Just on a line between the two centre points. And on this top one here, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to hide the screws. During the cleanup operation, I unfortunately did not find my countersinks. So I now have no countersink at all. So I've got to do it like this. if you get it just right, it does kind of work. Right, so this upright's now in. I've had to put a piece of um, nine mil ply on here, just so I can get the shower enclosure bit on, because obviously there's a bit of nine mil ply down the bottom there. So I'm just using this saw, which really does work well. The shower cubicle is a fraction too high on the starboard side without sloping, so I'm just taking it a little bit off the frame. It's only aluminium, it's quite easy. And I've obviously made sure that in doing so, I'm not stopping the glass from. Uh, Holding, well, at least I hope that I haven't. Needless to say, things are not going particularly well with this shower enclosure install. Because 
it's a couple of factors. That is a little bit too far set back because that wall there is a bit too far set back. And I've raised that edge of the shower tray. It means that this upright here is just not fitting in. Um, the problem is, is that the glass needs to come back to that level there. Um, I can't take the shower tray out and bring it forwards. And even if I were to, I don't know how much difference that's going to make. I'd have to bring it out quite a lot further. The problem has been is that the ceiling, well, once I put that on and offered it up, it is 1750 at that point there, but it is 1745 at that point there, and I need it to be 1750. So I think the solution, bear with me, it's going to look horrific for the time being, is to cut into the ceiling to push this back and then once it's in then to build something around it to make it look half decent that's the plan it's not going to be very pleasant to do this it kind of feels really wrong but i think that's going to be the way to do it right well the shower enclosure is taking a bit of shape now so the actual main frame has kind of been put together and you'll see in a minute the cutaway I've had to do but it's got a nice clearance above there so I don't know if I'll put a bit of trimming up there maybe or leave it as it is the lights kind of nicely in the centre and over here you'll see I've had to do this little cutaway to get that in and if I'm honest that's not so bad I'm quite happy with the outcome of that and obviously once it's got some sides on here a lot of that will be kind of hidden so that could have worked out a lot worse so that's all right I must say I'm really happy with now that the bathroom is taking some shape with the shower install it's like what I said the other day visually it's made a massive impact in the boat um, it's really useful to get all that glass out of the way, certainly, but just yeah, the visual impact of having something big in the boat, it shows progression. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm really delighted with its positioning as well. As much as it's caused me a little bit of grief getting the thing into the ceiling, it's meant that because it's so tucked away on the side here, I can't see it at all. When you, you I, I can't see the glass even here, and I'm really peering over. I didn't want any bathroomy bits to be visible from the saloon. That's that, that is not a good look. So, um, I'm really happy with that uh, placement. And I followed the instructions. Uh, I think Saki Barker told me to put some little bits down to to to, to raise it so it sloped it away. That looked like a really good idea. Obviously, the stern is always going to be lower, so. It's it that is going to be uh, that is probably going to help me out no end. So cheers, Darky Bugger. Good call. The cut away into the ceiling worked well. Um, I was envisaging some kind of massive box thing I'd have to make, but multi saw slid it in there. Happy days. That's worked out really well. So I'm going to crack on with the bathroom uh, and the shower enclosure a little bit later on. Carry on with that tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to see if I can get another ceiling panel put up and. Um, Calvin, you sent me a message earlier saying that I should be expecting a 58 hole saw arriving any minute. Mate, if that's the case, you're going to make my mother's Christmas list because she said I am never allowed to use that thing again. So, um, and she said it in you know, proper words. So, mate, you'll really save my bacon if, uh, if that comes through. So thank you very much. Hope you guys are all very well. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.